Hello. Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, can you guys hear me? <coughs> how's everybody doing? How's it going guys? Everybody uh anybody out there on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or Mixer? If you guys can please reply if you guys can hear me, so I know that everything is working. Raven Arrow. Thanks. Thanks for confirming on Twitch. Good to know it's working. We'll get started soon. Uh, Facebook looks like it's working. Cool. So today we're going to do a little bit of a different stream. Uh, we're going to play around with uh, some insert brushes to help my friend Pablo. And we're going to do a little bit of review. Talk about another little project that I've been working on, on the side. And continue some posing. Start, start playing around with some posing for our current characters. How does that sound? How's the music out there? Sound okay? Not too loud? Wait a couple more minutes to make sure everybody else is up and running. Let's uh... So I posted some links to my website, which is what you're seeing on screen now. Talk about some other projects that I've been uh, working on or have worked on as well in the past. You can check that stuff there at magbfx.com. Uh, some of my collectible stuff that I do for Monster Palooza, Designer Con, and other conventions. Uh, you know, kind of what we're doing in the stream. And my Gumroad. That's where you'll find my UI. You feel free to download it, rip uh, whatever you need from it, or if you like anything, just use that or use it as is. Uh, it's meant for left-handed people, so if you're right-handed, you might want to switch everything to the opposite side. Hey, how's it going, Rudy? Uh, but feel free to download it. It's free. Feel like donating? Donate. If not, it's all good. Uh, let's see. So we'll get started in a couple minutes. <coughs> How's everybody doing out there? Uh, so one of the things that I want to talk about today was uh, this IMM brush uh, pack that Pablo put together with other, a lot of the streaming artists um, to get uh, some funds raised for uh, the Australian fires. Uh, I myself didn't have time to contribute, uh, maybe next time, but I did uh, purchase it. It's uh, $20 right now for a limited, uh, limited time, which you can create uh, some creatures, which we're gonna explore some of that stuff today, like how do you uh, use that brush pack, how, what we can create on the stream for it, you know, to just to give you guys a preview of how I would use it. So here's like a collection of the different heads that people donated. Uh, so you could use this as a base or put your own base. Um, different limbs, torsos, extra bits, horns and tongues and all kinds of stuff. 
so i highly recommend you guys go check this out um you know donate it's for a good cause uh, that's the reason i decided to do this on the stream uh, let me send you guys the link to this So we're going to be playing around with this first, uh, then we'll talk about some posing, a couple other things, and then, um, yeah, we'll keep it fun. Let's see. So yeah, we'll talk about this as well, probably like in the next hour or so after we do, after we do something, after we do something with those brushes. Uh, let's find uh, a cube. So here I just loaded the heads. When I'm doing this, I like to just make sure that the perspective's off. Um, you can go to <clears throat> load and then go to your wherever you have it in your hard drive. I have it on my desktop and pick uh, heads. And that will bring up these guys. Which are uh, it's a quite, you know, it's, it's a quite a few. this guy's face so this is where it's nice to use this guy our little um, <clears throat> little friend here to insert some brushes it's weird because I had this little issue uh, that's probably something with my settings uh, Where it was bringing all these guys distorted, but not a big deal. Let's start with a torso, so we can then from there figure out how we want to uh, how we want to do with this stuff. Oh, that's cool. It's like a alligator. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. So the nice thing is that you kind of preview it and see what's going on with it just by clicking these guys and you can see the quality of some of these guys work it's really awesome really cool stuff so we'll start with something cool and let's see if we can make some this one's kind of cool If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, to ask. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm kind of digging this thing. Let me something less humanoid for for once. But if you're starting for a human, this is pretty good stuff too. So I would uh, highly recommend it. I'm not sure. I'm torn between these two. I think we're gonna go with that one. <coughs> the nice thing about this stuff is that um, it's all separated out, so you go with split it. Um, well, we'll see how we're how we're gonna do ours. Um, so if that's our front, we wanna probably flip this guy over. Let's turn off X. Hold Shift. thinking this is the front so we're probably gonna do something with like a like a tail let's see what we can do with this uh, so from there once you have it here you can uh, continue it's all part of one sub tool but I like to split them so split groups and that's its own sub tool that we can play around with without having to uh, mess with it so we want to insert something else we can look at some of the other packs uh, let's see let me load up uh, legs <clears throat> so it's 
take a look at some of those guys. Let's see if we can use something from here or just uh, make our own. A lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, that's a nice Paul. Kind of like, kind of digging that. like the stronger joins on top so let's probably go with that and split that guy off too <coughs> <coughs> so something we can do now we can uh, mirror I like using uh, this menu that means is in the plugins. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Subtool Master, and it's one of these mirror uh, options, which is really cool. So you see my my interface kind of changed because I ripped some of these guys off into the into the interface, so that I don't have to keep coming into this this menu. Hey, how's it going, Chris? So from here, um, now that we have that spread out, uh, separated out, we can uh, duplicate it and start playing around with some of this stuff so i think this is what i'm going to be using as a base and then we'll see how what kind of creature we can make from this but yeah this is another way to quickly get your models blocked out and you know be able to do some cool stuff quickly so it depends, it's, it always has its uses depending on what you want to do or you want to just get inspired. In this case, let's turn that cube off so we can start seeing what this is all about. So here it could go either way, right? This could be the tail on the back or this could be the where you insert the neck or you put a tail back here. Um, I don't know, let's, let's see what we can come up with. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta customize it. For the longest time, I, I didn't customize my interface because I used to, since I, I was a model supervisor, I used to have to go to different people's desks and help them with their uh, interface. So I didn't want to get accustomed to mine in case I went to their desk and then um, I went to the desk and they had something different, which was, you know, kind of throws me off. So I stayed with the basic for the longest time. And then um, eventually just started customizing and now I just, use my own custom I can still go back to the basic one but I decided that uh, to just make it make it work for me so I'm here I see some potentials right kind of seeing some kind of uh, alien creature you know so I like to duplicate my spheres that once I have one placed yeah, you sure you could insert another one? Um, but I like to keep it super simple if I, if possible. I'm sure some of you guys uh, agree or or don't agree. If you don't agree, let me know why. Because um, then I can start seeing shapes. Like here, I can already start seeing some kind of a <clears throat> alien type of shape. Here's where you can start exploring with the snake hook brush and start. This 
this is all dynamesh we could just do whatever but let's keep the dynamesh way lower like uh 48. where's everybody tuning in from so you see because this becomes a lot more manageable to to deal with than the previous uh, if you go back that's way too dense Yeah, the snake hook is an interesting one. I, I, I don't use it much, but when I do use it, I use it for stuff like this, and then I, I don't use it again. It's only for the initial, like, uh, kind of block out. From Spain, huh? Oh, man, that's cool. Nice, nice. It's already late at night over there, huh? That's good. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. So let's see what we can do. So now we can start modifying this guy, which is uh, has some really cool shapes. Let's uh, make it symmetrical. Think of a I'm trying to think of a scapula shape. So this is like a weird double joint. This is shoulders. I want to kind of make them just a tiny bit out more. But yeah, this is a great way to start something if you if you have a whole bunch of brushes and you just want to play around with stuff and don't have any uh, any ideas of what uh, any anything specific you wanted to make. It's a nice way to just play around with this stuff. Yeah, it changes the whole stance on this guy. Even these guys, I, uh, I'll tend to duplicate too. So if you wanted to change the pivot on some of this stuff, you could just press Alt on the on the surface, and that would probably help you kind of pivot it from a, a more nicer sp spot in the center of it. Oklahoma, nice, awesome, Chris. Ukraine, huh? Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in. Is this like the first time you guys have tuned into my stream, or is, uh, have you guys uh, tuned into my stream before as well? I know I'm kind of in the, in the weird spot like Sunday mornings and sometimes people don't get up early but they watch it later. Oh yeah, that's rough. I guess you, the nice thing is you get to watch them later, right? They all record it. Second time, okay, cool, man. Which one was the first song you tuned in last week, uh, two weeks ago, or, or a couple weeks ago, during the the Halloween edition? Let's see, first, hey Alex, thanks for joining. Bosnia, nice, nice. Well, hopefully you guys like my work and uh, continue to check it out. From here, I'm just trying to think of like which, how, how can I mimic some of these shapes that are already on this on this model on this uh, base? So I'm kind of making some of these stronger than I usually would. Turn it 
off for a bit. No, wrong one. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we're gonna do a review of some uh, somebody's work they sent they sent me to uh, from a previous stream, and they did some updates. So we're gonna check some of that stuff out. So here, I like this shape that's happening there. So I'm gonna try to mimic some of that. Let's see how we can implement that into this section. but they had, this one has a nice curve on it. Uh, no, this is, I'm just kind of going on the fly. Uh, I'm not really... I don't really have any reference because this is I'm just making this out of these brushes that I, I just bought uh, so there's no preconceived uh, ideas for this this is just kind of created on the fly seeing where, where it goes yeah that's kind of what I'm thinking too I'm just trying to stay away from that bulbous head so I'm trying to start breaking that up to see how that uh, that will work start changing some of these proportions too like maybe making this back part a little longer Because, of course, you, you want to use these brushes, but you don't want to use them as they are. You want to just start modifying after a while, right? Like, make it your own. But yeah, some kind of, I'm getting some Xenoform, uh, Xenomorph uh, vibes as well. That's why. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, Pablo's pack. So I would highly recommend if you guys are want to support want to support the the cause that's happening in Australia, please purchase this pack. It would I think it would help a lot. That's why I decided to kind of dedicate part of the stream to doing this here, so you guys can see. What some other potentials are that you guys can can play around with. But we'll go back to our insect guys uh, soon. Just want to get at least something blocked out that, that looks cool. I'm also thinking like a lot of uh, 3D printing, so I'm trying to think of like how I'm gonna print this this guy. Of course, those legs are so thin. Um, probably need to bulk them up. I haven't used extra mile. Of course, I know that it's supposed to it has really good reviews, um, but anything that Pablo has is probably really, really good. So I would highly recommend it. It's a really cool, dude. So we need to bulk some of these legs up more. But obviously with the inflate, it's kind of hard to do that. So we're gonna do a bit of the, the move brush. So one thing, if I wanted to give this guys more, more girth. Thicken them up a bit, right? One direction. But make sure you don't quite break it and then also mass the other direction but of course you need to you know stay within the boundaries and not push it so much because then you're starting to destroy all the details that, that came in here so here i need to start like tapering tapering some of this stuff so that it feels like it's actually becoming a leg not just a straight um 
like plank or wood or something, you know? Always seen constantly keep looking at the silhouette. But this is where it's nice, where you can start using uh, the other piece. Um, And that could become the other joint. Then you could either shrink it down, make it a little shorter, keep it long, or start uh, doing some some modifications to like make it more. S Trying to beef it up a little bit on top. So we can start playing around with just placement. Like none of this stuff is permanent, so it's just like um, playing around with the idea of this. So definitely that back leg. These guys need to. This guy needs to go. But. Now we got this guy, so we could duplicate that guy, and we won't marry yet. Um, let's see. So I think we use my other mirror, which is uh, over here. Flip that to the other side, and now we have some back legs. See what that tail looks like that we're blocking out. show you guys kind of what I'm talking about doing um, you guys haven't used this app it's pretty cool um, so this is kind of what I'm thinking of doing right like something like that but right now this this tail is not working so I need to to do something like that I think that I think that might work out, work out better what do you guys think Let's play around with this torso. What if it's a uh, kind of like a mom and it has an egg sac at the bottom to protect its, its babies? So that could be cool. What do you guys think? Oh, thanks, thanks. That means I have to make the hips a little wider, but not a big deal. It already has like some kind of a. Uh,
definitely gonna need some stronger legs. But if we don't like something, we could always go back in history and change it. Actually, it's safe before we continue. <laughs> yeah, alien mom. So maybe I'll change that head around. I don't know, because uh, I don't want it to feel too alien-like. But, you know, that's obviously really alien-like there. So let's maybe, maybe just chop that off. A little better, a little less alien like. I guess where the mouth is gonna be, yeah, that's where it, it, it make, need to make sure I don't mimic that too much, right? Not that I don't like alien, it just uh, it's already been done to death. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe that, that could work better. I was thinking of, uh, what's the name of this creature? Let me see if I could find it for you guys. Uh, uh, vinegar bug or vine vinegar room. I used to have this as a pet. Um, I was thinking maybe something like this. So it doesn't have a tail, but it does have like a, it's not a stinger, but that's where it shoots uh, its vin vinegar when it gets threatened. So maybe something like that, like. That could be cool, right? Oh, you do. Those, those things are cool. They look scary, but they're like the nicest pets ever, right? Like, I used to have that in a... Uh, uh, what is it? Not a cave spider, but a... Let's see. Um, whip scorpion. Yeah I, used to, um, yeah, I used to have one of these guys as well. I got them because I thought they looked really cool and they're, they don't really do much. They're just like super friendly. They just crawl on you. Um, they're like the best. I love, love these guys. That was maybe, I think my last one I had was probably, probably like five years ago or something. But yeah, I, 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 you know, I used to have them because I, I thought they were really cool reference for, for bugs and all kinds of other creatures. Uh, but then maybe let's try to do something like that. Um, so I always go back and forth between insert brushes for spheres for basic shapes uh, and just appending new models. So there's no right way or wrong way of doing this. So uh, I know some of you guys uh, might, might be asking why or Actually, that works much better. Look at that. Let's maybe see what this looks like without that. Yeah, I think that, that, that has a better balance. We're gonna make it a little bigger though. So it integrates into the belly. Let's see. 
Yeah, yeah, similar to acid, so it smells a lot. <laughs> yeah, dogs are nicer, but, uh, you know, they have their, their ups and downs. Uh, depends what, what kind of crazy dog you have. If you have a dog like me, I have a husky, then you know that uh, it needs a lot of attention and it's going to destroy your stuff. Where, like, if you have a bug, uh, maybe it won't. You could just put it in the box. <laughs> yeah, that's much better, right? Let's, let's make a little stinger for him, too, just to to block that out just see what that's gonna look like yeah that's not bad let's make it come out of the right spot and yeah, that works we're gonna change its body from the top view So it has wider hips since it's kind of a mom. It needs to have the hips to support the. Let's see, maybe let's integrate this some some of this design. Oh, it feels like it's going into it, so. It's not a crazy integration, just enough to... What's also interesting about these brushes is that it, it kind of makes you collaborate on the design with other people like styles that you usually wouldn't do or you know you do how do you make it your own so there you go so it feels like a little accordion you know but just playing around with this stuff the nice thing too is that we can probably do something else that i wanted to play around with uh not sure if it's gonna work out, but that's the whole point of doing this stream, right? We're we're just having fun. Uh, yeah, I think if you use uh, if you use 2020 core instead of uh, 2020 the regular edition, uh, you should be fine. Uh, it depends what you really what you're doing, right? Are you doing something for production where you're going to need a lot of the tools, or or you're just doing something where you're just blocking stuff out? Like if you're doing kind of what I'm doing now, you should be fine. You know, so it all depends. It all depends on what you're doing. That's the, the bigger question. Like, what kind of work are you doing? So now that's getting in the way of the sack. So that means either these legs need to come out more. It needs to have a wider stance, which is fine. Yeah, lately I've been having this uh, kind of sticky pen where like um, some of this stuff just kind of wants to stick uh, when I'm moving in and doing other stuff. So the idea behind duplicating that, I wanted to make it make it like a web, like a webby leg, um, but I feel like it's working out better as a thickener because it's a mom and it has to support support the weight, right? Also, that's a good idea. What if, um, so this is what I was talking about, uh, using the other insert brushes. 
Sometimes I'll go ahead and just do something like that. Um, and play around with that. But I always like uh, splitting the parts out. So what I was thinking right now was... Um, what if what if the, her limbs were protected? So she, you know, we're saying it's a girl, but who knows? If maybe it's a boy. I just want to make sure my read is is, you know, it reads well from a distance. So this is like a little she that we can use over and over. Oh, let's finish that guy. They ha kind of helps protect their joints. That's this kind of what I'm thinking. And it's also another design element, right? Because a lot of my streams are about design, so I want to make sure that it's not like it's technical too. It can be, but we're focusing on design and what we can do with it. So what I'm thinking is, how do we use this as a design element that we can kind of help mirror or mimic some of these things at, at different stages, you know? So like another thing is like, how do, how do we use that here to help protect his shoulders, right? where it still looks cool and it's functional, but it, it, it speaks to the design language. You know, maybe it protects his chest. So it could still be modified. It just, uh, when you look at it from a distance, you can start seeing those elements. Like it's probably gonna be part of the horns as well. So we'll see. But it also needs to be functional, so. We could do some cool stuff, like add a little sharpness to it. And also make it pointy so that it feels nice and scary. Doesn't have to be boring. Yeah, it's a leg fender. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. It, it's, it's exactly that. How's everybody enjoying the stream so far? Hopefully not too boring. I'm trying to keep these fun. Uh, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, I started making a uh, baby Yoda a few, uh, probably like two weeks ago. I've been like spending 20 minutes here and there, kind of blocking it out, but I've been, um, I'll show you guys that model soon. Um, after we're done with this, I feel like I'm in the groove of this, so I don't want to stop. That guy is totally off center, but you know what? It doesn't matter because we can just break it. it. Yeah, I know. Keep keep going with the groove, right? When you catch that groove, just sometimes you just have to keep going with it. I feel like right now. These guys have to probably be tweaked just a bit because they feel like is that what's happening from time to time this happens to me but it doesn't matter because we can just fix it <laughs> just to one side and then one to the other 
Uh, so I was thinking that if, if it was right on, on that edge, she wouldn't be able to move her leg back. So we need to kind of tweak that a bit, but no big deal. Uh, yeah, I've been I've been doing this Baby Yoda. I've been having tons of fun with it. Um, uh, I'm gonna make a 3D print uh, ready version, and then I'm probably gonna do a photo real version later where I add more detail. But I think for the 3D printed version, I'm close to having finalized. So I'm going to probably post a tutorial if you guys are interested. I've, I've been recording myself as I'm doing it, so. If you guys are interested, definitely let me know because uh, I put some effort into that. And I'll start from a sphere, so that that's another cool thing. Let's see, I feel like it needs to go a little upright. I think once we pose this guy, he's gonna be more interesting. Right now, he's feeling a little stale just because he's kind of neutral pose. Can we give him? I guess he can have pointy little legs. Mm -hmm. How's everybody's weekend going so far? Everybody have a good weekend? If it's already. Monday on your side of the world. Hey, how's it going, George? Good to see you, man. It's been a while. Been seeing some of the stuff you've been making. Really awesome stuff, man. As always, always cool stuff. If you guys don't follow him, make sure you guys do because he has some really awesome, awesome work. Thanks for joining the stream. Yeah, those back legs need to get a little more beefy. Right now I'm just kind of looking at what all the all the all the different limbs are doing. That was weird. I don't know what that happened. And when that happens, it's a good time to save. Just because 
You never know where you're gonna crash. So I'm just kind of breaking the, the straightness on all this stuff, you know? No straight lines on any of these designs if possible. So I'm looking for like an S curve. These guys are doing okay. This guy could get uh, thinner. I feel like maybe that's, let's see. Any questions out there? So we've been spending a good amount of time with the stream, playing with this guy. But yeah, it's kind of what you know what you can do with the uh, insert brush. I'm trying to think if he, this guy needs some wings or something. Probably spend another ten minutes on this guy, and then we'll wrap him up and move on to the to the other guys. Is that cool? Not bad. Oh, that sucks. Your internet is failing on you. Uh, what's the playlist from? It's from this uh, service that I've been using uh, called uh, Pretzel Rocks. It was recommended to me because it was royalty free music. And I just I think I have it on Epic. Uh, there's a few different categories. See. Uh, so I think either ambient or epic. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, that's why I just use it all the time because I, I don't have to think about it. Highly recommend it if you guys uh, are streaming or just want to listen to something in the background. Uh, yeah, I used to work at Method Studios. I used to be the the model's uh, creature supervisor there. So you might have seen me on one of the. I think two years ago I did a ZBrush talk at the summit. Um, so yeah, you recognize me. Where are you from? Yeah, yeah. Feel free to move everything to the right. Since I'm left-handed, I move everything to the to the left. I know it's, I'm I'm one of those weirdos. That's uh that's left-handed. When I tried so many people's interfaces, it was, um, it really sucked because everybody is right-handed, so I always had to do the opposite, so now it looks like you guys have to maybe do the opposite for, for yourselves. But 
yeah feel free to just it, you know it's pretty easy to modify that stuff so uh, let's play around with some design on this stuff before we run out of time What does it take to become a pixel object streamer? I have no idea. That's a, that's a good question. For me, I just wanted to get back to the community because uh, I had a lot of people at different events ask me how I do my collectibles for like Monster Palooza and stuff. Uh, so uh, it was an easy way for a lot of people to be able to get access to that. I figured that uh, why not stream it and give you guys access and have you guys ask questions. So I know a lot of people, I've been 3D printing for a long time, maybe six, seven years now. So a lot of people ask me like, well, how do you create this stuff? What does it take? And what I want to do is do some projects like this, where like we'll start something and then uh, take it onto final and then from there print it and, and put in a show, paint it, and then you guys can see the whole process. It's not that hard. Well, I say it's not that hard, but it depends, I guess, uh, your level of, your level of experience and stuff. Oh, look at that. That's awesome, right? <laughs> That's fine. Let's uh let's close that up and start a new a new one. Let's uh, start a new ZBrush. <laughs> that was cool. ZBrush is launching. Cool. So maybe it recovered, maybe it's there, maybe it's not. We'll find out right now. But that does happen, so that's why it's important for you to save often. Oh, look at that. It didn't really uh, take too much away, so that's that's good. It's probably just my duplication or all these crazy things that I'm doing. No, it actually duplicated it. I think what I was trying to do was not kosher with, with ZBrush. Is Blender the new king? Yeah, I, I guess so. But I use Maya as a professional, so I was—I wouldn't say it's—it's it's a probably good tool, but uh, I haven't used it. I want to use it. I want to learn how to use it. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you were just checking out the website? Yeah, they have a lot of work. Uh, feel free to apply if you're a 3D artist. It's a great place to work. So this is kind of where we're at with this with this guy. Um, let's let's actually save him before we crash again. So we have the updated version. And I just got um. I just downloaded the new ZBrush. I just paid for it the other day, uh, like a day ago. Uh, so maybe let's take this guy into into Keyshot. Um, to our one. Let's take that into the new key shot, see what happens. <laughs> see what we can do. Just let's just spend like five, ten minutes on that. Uh, Dynamish. It's all Dynamish right now, so it's like super heavy. And I guess it didn't bring my project in, which is fine. Or it's, is it doing it? We'll give it a second for it to come up. Let's give it another minute. <laughs> Maybe too dense.
Yeah, yeah, they were picar. So if, if, if it stings you, it's probably kill you instantly. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure it will. I think uh, that the, the push of Blender is going to make all the programs kind of uh, push forward and, and become better and faster and integrate more technology, you know, uh, quicker. Because it's like if a free program can do it, why can't they do it when you're paying a lot of money for it? Well, sorry for the hiccup. This must be some kind of a key shot issue. Okay, we'll skip that part. Yeah, I didn't even see Keisha. I think it crashed. All right, no biggie. At least we saved this, so it's okay to close it. We'll start again. Right, this is my new logo too, in case you guys are just watching just the screen uh, for my for my relaunch of uh, some of the work that I do. Let's figure out why that that died, because that's uh, not cool. Let's, uh, let's see. Nine. Okay, that's the one. Let's launch the new key shot before we. There's a conflict because I still have Keyshot installed. Uh, it's a potential, so you guys can see what's happening here. That uh, this this could happen to you, not a big deal. But how do we troubleshoot that as well, right? So that you can actually do some renders and so let's see. So we have ZBrush. Let's. Uh... Is there no render? Keyshot. Send it off see what happens where am I from I'm from LA um, uh, my parents are Mexican so that's why my name is Miguel Guerrero uh, so that's a, from Hispanic background but I was born and raised in, uh, in LA uh, what what 3d printers I use a form 2 the slash the unity slash uh, the race 3d n2 plus uh, CR 10 yeah. Oh, there we go. Now ah, we're back in action. So it was just some kind of glitch. But that happens, as you can see. So it's okay. Just got to move on and keep keep pushing forward. It's a little too small, so we're gonna have to change that. Are you guys uh, use Keyshot a lot out there? There we go. Let's play around with some shaders on this guy. This always one of my, my go to shaders. Oh, the other one is also uh, playing around with the translucent one. Yeah, I use Substance Painter for most of this stuff. I just use this just to give me an overall look if I only have like five minutes instead of having to bake any maps. But yeah, that's kind of what we ended up with for this thing. Just wanted to give you guys a preview of what that does let's go to let's load up some tools let 
music is getting pretty good. Uh, so let's go with the review file that somebody sent me. I forgot his name. I'll look it up right now. Uh, Jesus. So this is his art station, and he has sent me. He has sent me this in one of the previous streams, and I kind of gave him some feedback of some of the anatomy work that needs to be improved. Uh, I don't mind giving feedback as long as uh, you guys send me a file or send me some kind of. Um, Send me the file, send me some screenshots of what you want, give me enough time. I'm gladly uh, give you some reviews. Where did that file go? Give me one second to find that file. for the stream all right looks like this is what's gonna open now uh, I went somewhere completely different than what I thought so it's gonna open his file and we'll give him some critiques and um, get him going then we can move back to our to our characters yeah that's his art station Oh, oh, that's you, Raven. Okay, sorry. It's trying to open your file, so just give it one minute. forever there we go so this is Sue's file Sue's um, model first off the bat I think his arms are too small too short because if he were to put his arms down they should really be in the center of his thigh that's my first big thing that I see and also his his abdomen and crotch seem a little seem a little broken And also looks like you're not working in subdivisions. That would probably help a lot um, because how dense is this guy? Yeah, you see this guy's super dense, uh, which makes it really, really difficult to work with. Because um, if you start, even if you start using just a move tool, see how long it takes? It takes way too long. Uh, so one thing I recommend for you is uh, duplicate the piece. And then from there, Hopefully this is okay. Is this this is cool? It's kind of what you wanted to uh, give you some reviews on. I'll just kind of workflow and then we'll fix some anatomy. Uh, then we'll zero mesh it. Because that's that's the problem that it, if you work on this type of this dynamesh that's this dense, it's going to take you forever. Where if you want to make small changes or even large changes, you want to make sure that you have a, a low res cage that you can just quickly move down and then in resolution and then move big major things. Uh, the pelvis feels a little off, uh, the arms feel a little off anatomy wise, so uh, I just want to show you what it looks like when you uh, zero mesh it so that you get something more usable. And you don't lose any of the stuff, we we're going to project it back on, it just uh, it makes it so that you can move quicker. And you can see the updates and like, oh I don't like that, or I like that, or you know, whatever, whatever it may be. You know, but when you have something like this, this is uh, 4 million. Uh, it makes it pretty hard for you to kind of make major changes like if you wanted to change the scale of the hands uh, It would probably take a while for me to even just do the move or, or run other modifiers uh, to see it kind of real time And that's the main thing right you wanted to see everything real time as, as quickly as possible so that you can make judgment calls uh, But we'll give this a second it seems to be it seems to be working. It's just uh, it's a lot of polys for it I think your whole scene is 10 million. It's not not too bad 
my, my scenes start to choke out when they're at yeah, 50 or 60 million they start to it takes a second you know there you go see so that's that's not too bad uh, so one thing we want to do now is turn everything else off just turn these two tools on divide it once uh, smear it uh, project all So now we're getting all those details back onto your old, uh, new model. And that's a pipeline that I would recommend you, you kind of work with. And then when they both look close to each other, like if you switch sub tools between them, uh, one way also thing too is to make sure you turn off the color just to see what if it's almost close. Um, turn it back on so that it actually projects it. So you don't lose any of your work. So it's yeah, you know, you know, just maintaining your work but modifying it to make it make it work better. More optimize. So I think at level four we're almost close to what you used to have. But now we have the ability to uh, so here you go, you see? Looks about the same, but now we have we're able to go down in, in levels. And not even where you're masking, it's so much easier. Um, that's fine if that's happening. That's not a big deal because we'll just move it back. I know a lot of people get freaked out when like they're like, "Oh, this this thing just destroyed my my model," but it really didn't. It just it's throwing a little offset. might be a little too big but there we go we went a little higher uh, extending these guys out a little more uh, and also when, now, now that we're this low it's so easy to also give these guys a little more thickness because it's starting to feel kind of thin so you see now like the balance feels a little better uh, one thing that people tend to make too skinny too is like the ankles. So I see that it's happening here. Yeah, it's, it's all good. I'm, I'm just pointing this out, not just for you, but anybody else. They might um, they might be running into these issues and they could learn from this experience as well. So it's everybody learns it's not just for one person, you know, like it's a general workflow type of thing. So a lot of times when I'm tweaking the legs, I'll, uh, I'll hide everything else. Just because uh, the arms get in the way. You don't want to tweak the arms if the arms are already looking pretty good. So I'm just making some general tweaks of some things that I think would help your, your model look a little better. But yeah, feel free, you guys can feel free to send me your if uh, your files if you guys uh have any questions or need some review stuff. Um, we'll pick one or we'll pick a few every week or you know whatever. It depends how they come in. Right now I'm just kind of trying to balance him out so he feels not so stiff because he feels that sometimes when you look at stuff and they, it feels too stiff it throws you off and just giving him a little more he's some kind of demon right or something something like that so uh, so the major offenders that I see here are like the abs right the abs feel they should they are long they are they are um, 
longer like you have them here but you're missing like some fundamental stuff right like uh Like, like this stuff, like his crotch part is not, um, like he has his genitals, but he also needs to have, um, let's see. Let's see, let's just hide this part. We'll fix some of the abs. Like this should be coming in, tapering all the way in, and then the genitals are like on top, you know? So I just kind of been hitting a little bit of everything, you know, just also like looking at the offsets of some of this stuff. You know, um, let's see, where's my Epic Pen right here. One thing you want to keep in mind is that if you have something, like you never want to have stuff that's straight. You always want to have a, a bit of an offset, right? Like, let's see. Find a better spot to do that in. Like you want to avoid the Michelin tire type of guy, you know, uh, where like you just have both of these guys in the same spot. If possible, you want to have them have an offset, right? So that, like nothing, nothing in, in reality is like straight. So, so everything should have some offset. And here I, I'm seeing a lot of parallels where it's easy to, to get into that and kind of um, like these guys actually start higher. They insert from the from the almost from like the middle of the of the bone. So that's something you have to make sure you you have. But that's one of the major ones that I found on your model that's off. So you want to put those offsets in there. Is this helping? Let's see what I mean. Yeah, sometimes if you have somebody else look at it, it's some, sometimes easier if they just give you a, 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 you know, they just show you something and then all of a sudden everything snaps. Like, it makes sense to you. Like, oh, I forgot to do that one thing. Oh, how do you save one to your PC? Um, for the brush packs uh, you just download it and then you can just load it as a brush so if you go here and load as brush you'll see them show up and they'll be something like this and then from there you can pick them kind of like they'll show up here like on top and then you could pick whichever one you want uh, so having those offsets I think would help uh, but let's see what the, what it used to look like uh, so let's turn it We'll fix some of those abs in a minute. Uh, let's see if we can move this guy to the side without uh, killing this thing. Like even just the, if you see the hands being a little bigger and the, the arms being a little thicker, like that already helps balance the overall. I know it's like really small things, but I think uh, it, it makes a big difference. And we're not even done, so that's that's good. Turn back that symmetry. So one thing I feel like you're missing that you know a lot of people miss. That you have a hint of it. It just uh, I feel like it's blending in too much into your, um, let's go back one level. So you had a hint of it. It just, you need to just push it a little more, I think. Also depends on your reference you're using, but I want to say, uh, see, cause now that breaks that silhouette. So it's, you know, you know that that's in the back plane in the front where you had it before it felt like it kind of got lost, like it was just a little lost. 
and I know a lot of these guys are going to have underwear, but you also want to make sure your all your stuff is. Uh, make this more clear like his love handles maybe a little too low Here I'm just kind of refining his ass is his, uh, his pelvic area. Let me see. Do I have one of the skeletons here? Um, one thing that I have in my desk uh, everywhere, uh, which is on my other desk, <laughs> is one of these guys. Uh, it really helps for when you're. Let me see if I can actually see it. A little skeleton you know I have a large skeleton but a little skeleton just to kind of help you with the with, with some of these bony landmarks because I feel like maybe you need to uh, fix some of those guys having this guy here kind of helps you remind you of like oh yeah they should be here that should be there so it's not just like somewhere in your in your head and you're like I don't know I don't know where this is going you know like which way are the hips going you know like turn this guy sideways you know that this needs to go up higher in the back so a little bit of that type of stuff you know like you have all the elements there you just need to tweak them a bit hope that helps yeah and the more you do on these guys the more the better it's gonna get you know This guy too, I, I feel like, I guess it became... So the other thing too is to constantly be, keep moving through your model. Yeah, you know, you just keep doing more of this stuff and it'll get better. Let's see the rest of the model. But I feel like those were the major offenders. I think if you tweak some of that stuff or, or go back and get some reference, it, it would help. Hey, how's it going, dinosaur? All right, not dinosaur. Yeah, dinosaur. <laughs> Bob dinosaur. Bob he dinosaur. Cool, cool name. Where you where you from? And also having reference for like a ear, like your ear needs some work. Uh, let's see how much time we have. Uh, I'll give you I'll give you a couple more minutes and then we'll move on. But again, adding some subdivisions would help to make some, some of these changes. A uh, major thing that's standing out to me is this guy. It's like puffing out even though there's nothing really uh, pushing it like like this is not pushing it to push forward
Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. England, huh? Cool. Let's see how, how hard it's going to be to do this with this guy, but we'll try it. So you can still make changes with this, it just makes it a little harder, you know? So it all depends on your workflow, but I would highly recommend. So in between these two, oh, let's, let's move the light around a little bit. You can see kind of what I'm doing there. Now there's more motivation of why that fat is pushing the nasal labral fold. That makes sense? Yeah, sometimes when you get into the groove, right, you forget little things that you should be checking, like uh, like why is this, like wh what's the motivation behind a lot of this stuff. Uh, but hopefully that helped. Hopefully that helped you get you uh, get you there. Um, but I feel like this is a little more proportional. Hands could still need some work, a little thickness on the on the on the actual fingers. But uh, let's see if we can do that quick without destroying your model. Um, but at least that gets you there to feeling a little more concise, you know, a little, a little more stronger design sense and also anatomy changes. Um, so let's see, where can we show you guys next? Oh, you got it, man. Anytime. Uh, so this is my little Yoda guy uh, that I've been playing around with. I want to make it print ready. Still got to pose him. Um, started playing around with some blend shapes because he just feels a little too serious. I want to make him more cute. So this is uh, kind of just playing around with, with his face. You know, what do you guys think? Um, yeah, this guy started just like I was showing you guys, just from a sphere. Uh, I'll have my gun road ready soon. Just gotta still wrap up his hands. They're just little pieces, but that's kind of how everything starts. Always starts from a sphere. And, um, you know, a lot of this stuff was just like noise. And it still has to be softened up a little bit. But wait, sometimes when you just tap it, it feels kind of like that material he has on his, uh, the material he has on, that it's like a little kind of felt type of material. But yeah, just kind of want to show you guys that. Um, still not finished, but it's getting there. Uh, let's see the next project. Project that we were continuing from the last few weeks. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So these guys are the ones we've been playing around with, right? For the last few weeks. Uh, let's isolate. So we started these guys on stream. Uh, thanks, Robert, Rudy. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's, I, I'm really, uh, really love that design of the baby Yoda. So I'm just trying, trying to capture his essence. But we've been working on these guys from scratch on the stream, making this uh, series of like these two hero, uh, villain, and a hero kind of fighting. But we had to first block them out, 
this is kind of what we've been up to you know the colorized version um, still not finished but at least now we have enough to block these guys out and start posing them and seeing what what matters what doesn't matter if i want to change things or, or keep them as is uh, then there's this guy Uh, this guy, which is like the villain uh, guy, quite the amount of legs. Uh, actually, this guy, sh these legs shouldn't even be here. Let's, uh, let's get rid of him. Okay, that's way too many legs. Okay, that's much better now. Uh, so there's this guy. So the other guy's going to be battling this guy. Uh, I I'm kind of changing my mind because some of the reference that I wanted to have, uh, I'll show you guys uh, my reference folder. I wanted him to be sitting down on top of the the guy he just killed. Uh, let's see, where's my pure ref file? There we go. So it's just some of you guys that haven't been here can see what I'm kind of talking about. Um, let's see, where's my reference for posing? So I kind of wanted something like this, where like he's uh, like the the spider-looking guy. He's on he's laying down on the ground like he's he's already been defeated, and then you have the hero kind of sitting like this, with uh, where I think we we're talking about making an axe, like an axe through him. He's maybe holding on, holding on, or or just kind of has it on top of his head, like it chopped his head off. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, so that's probably one potential we're gonna try. Uh, but then I you know through time I've been kind of thinking of other other uh, poses. They could be a, a really cool as well, or they could also also be just one-offs that are that are just uh, uh, maybe their own their own figures. Uh, so one thing that I did uh, from last time, I haven't really worked on this stuff at all outside the stream, is uh, I created these guys, these uh, kind of dummy figures that are zero mesh. So that I can play around with posing, and that's kind of what we're gonna do today. Uh, how we're gonna pose these guys and, and test out some poses, and then if we we like something, we'll probably go and push the real asset around to make it to make it all work until we're happy with it. Um, so I guess we could start with this guy. So we could either duplicate it or start a new layer. It all depends on kind of what you like doing. But in this case, um, I want to say he's probably dead on the ground, so. Uh, let's start with the tail making so we're just gonna start playing around with this stuff so uh, the main thing is to click alt to change your pivot right for a lot of this stuff and some of this stuff might start getting kind of muddied up and, and, and broken so I'll have to like break and move kind of like I was doing with the uh, with the review model right because this guy's dead um, so that means a lot of the legs are probably going to be either broken or, or split out or something at first it was just going to be a giant spider head and not have a full character but it could probably still be that but I wanted to kind of just uh I don't know, have fun in the stream and make something cool. Could be multi-purposed. Uh, but let's get the main torso kind of working first. Since this guy is just going to be dead. Uh, the other file that crashed, had, I had a one pose that I have done. But uh, that seems to be lost now, so it doesn't matter. So since I'm masking all this stuff, uh, one thing I can do too if I like the where it's going. 
so that I don't have to keep doing the same selection set every time. I could just uh, group it. So you start getting, kind of start setting up some groups to, to pose and easily select later, which I lost when I did a, the zero mesh. Not a big deal. Have to start breaking symmetry. Well, what was that? And let's hide that guy. Does anybody have any questions? All right, stream's still going. I just heard some uh, some interesting sounds. So I wanted to make sure we were we were all good. Let's see. So we have about twenty minutes left. So we'll just continue with this. To kind of at least get one version of the pose down and see what happens. This guy we don't have duplicated, so let's duplicate him. Uh, one weapon that somebody suggested that I should maybe play around with was having an axe, um, which I think that's eh, doable. So we're going to do the same with this guy and just kind of set up some preliminary. Some preliminary uh, sets. Symmetry still on, yeah. And some of this stuff will break, so it's not a big deal. Just try not to break. Anything is going to look too funky. Nice, thanks, thanks. So by no means these are perfect, they're just kind of... This guy, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that was yeah, right. Uh, so now that we have some groups, let's uh, split the legs as well. But I think I like the idea of the axe. I think that's a, that's a cool idea. I never, I don't think I ever really modeled a mass, uh, axe, so could be cool. So let's see what we can do with this guy now that we have him here. See, that makes it so much easier to select. Now you could just mask the rest and use Alt. So Alt unlocks it so you can move your pivot around. So you don't have to click on the surface, but you can. So it depends uh, what you want to do. But this gives me at least the ability to pose him. So I'm looking at my pose that I had from the guy and he's going to be sitting back. So. one direction more than the other
But yeah, I'm also thinking of doing a one-off where like he's just in a cool action pose with, with a weapon. I think that could be cool. Well, because we went, we're thinking of doing both of these together, that's the reason I'm kind of trying to stick with this. But it might not work out, but we get to try it out and figure that out. So for you guys that have been checking out the stream before, uh, do you guys prefer me splitting up uh, with a couple different segments or just doing one project kind of all the way, kind of like we've been doing a few weeks ago? Okay, no, that's good. I, I think I, I kind of like that format better too, uh, because then, it, uh, yeah, you're right. We can kind of cover some things, um, have fun with them, and then move on to something more, uh, like something that just goes on for the two hours, right? Because that, that could get a little boring. Well, at least it, I feel like it's gotten a little boring for me too, where like it, it gets just a little stale. And we could cover, and then we could do reviews too, so that that could help a lot. If you guys uh, dig the reviews, I kind of it was fun. Yeah, you guys could feel free to send me, go to my website and send me something there. Uh, then we could look at it. And if you guys are comfortable, we could look at it through. Um, look at it here in the stream. Or if you want private stuff, then we could figure that out as well. Private stuff's a little harder just because time. And when it's on stream, it's easier to for other people to check out too. Pretend this guy's not here, the whole thing. Let's see. I think I had screws too. <laughs> kind of want his face to be looking up. Cool. Well, thanks for the feedback, guys. I appreciate it. I should have been back. <laughs> Thank you. 
But yeah, I was thinking of something, something like this in this ballpark. This is, I'm um, not super happy with it, but we're just trying this out. Maybe that guy needs to be bigger so they kind of go with the original idea we had. Then you can use some of the limbs to like, um, to kind of help with the design, you know? Like he's leaning back on that giant leg. This is supporting that. That could also be chopped off. So it's more like a little diorama, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I know she was just trying to feed her kids, right? And this guy, this guy just took it over. Oh, let's see. Let's add some kind of weapon or something. Like maybe he's holding his sword or axe or something. Like he just cleaned it off or he's clean it off. Right now, this is the whole point is to just come up with some ideas. I'll probably do three or four of these where I just spend like 20 minutes kind of posing, seeing how that's working out, pick one, and then from there, go and pose them and then start refining all the pieces and kind of replacing them with, with nicer, nicer stuff. Looks like his little kilt or little cover thing, his little dress part is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Um, but I guess it, it could be draping down right now. It's just part of the same mesh, so it's kind of hard to separate it out. Soft part of the thing. Somewhere in that realm. Uh, now, what do you guys think? Ha, <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's just, uh, you know, playing around with some ideas. And then kind of also seeing the composition of the rest of the other angles, right? Because um, maybe his head's just larger. Or like. Say maybe his leg is a lot higher stepping on his this guy's head. It's kind of mean, but these guys are bug warriors. They don't care.
So I'm just thinking of what would it look like as a base. Pretty cool. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for the. F I really like uh, feedback. You guys, you guys helped me with. Um, that broken leg <laughs> yeah these playlists are pretty good huh well, that music has been I think I like his leg the way it was, so maybe we just give the other guy a little more room. Yeah, his crotch got all messed up. Separated from the leg, I forgot that I didn't find a mission. Yeah, so this is kind of what I'm thinking. You know, that's one version, might go nowhere, but um, at least now we have it, we have explored the, the option. make him bigger that way it feels like he really took on a big challenge but yeah guys i guess that's kind of where we're gonna end up at um you know I'll, I'll probably find some more reference to to inspire me and maybe maybe do some of these more studies perry spend like an hour and do like two or three of them and then probably post them maybe get some uh voting going on on instagram see what you guys think um yeah yeah, yeah, it did, right? Uh, Jar Carpenter, yeah. Yeah, so that's it's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm thinking of something like this. Uh, Someone's like, he, he's going to eat his brains, and he's like waiting. He's just like, I'm tired. Uh, but I kind of also want to do like a samurai face-off, kind of like what I had on my um, on the Instagram uh, on the poster for this thing for this week I don't know what I did with it but it's basically both of them just having a face off so it's almost like before the battle happened which I think could be pretty cool now I know what I need to work on his crotch, his, his cloth his hands his hands are going to be pretty prominent you know, they're going to be showing up a lot so the other guy's face But yeah, guys, I guess that's where we're going to leave off for this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the stream. If you guys have suggestions for topics or uh, any any of that type of stuff. Um, I think I'm going to do one more update to my UI. I found a few things that I wanted to tweak. Uh, but I'll, I'll send an email out so that if you already downloaded it, you'll, get, you'll just download a new one and it'll just kind of replace the old one. Yeah, thanks guys. I really appreciate you guys joining, especially if you guys are joining from all over the world. This is awesome. Uh, your feedback is greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming. I'll see you next time. All right, see you guys. Yeah, anything you guys have any feedback, uh, feel free to send me an email or, or send me a message. Or if you guys just have images, that's fine. We could draw over them as well. Um, cool. Thanks for joining, guys. See you next time.